this afternoon. Also being played at the moment is plenty of action at the MCG, the clash between Essendon and Fitzroy. And viewing that for us is Jared Healy. Jared, what's the situation as we speak? Well, Sandy, it did look as if the floodgates were going to open and Essendon would uh, go out to a, a fairly handy uh, lead and then go on to victory. But full credit to Fitzroy. They did fight back. They moved Jeff Hogg from full back to full forward. Jared Malloy out into the pocket. And they did get a couple of goals later in the quarter to uh, keep in touch with Essendon. We have got some highlights of uh, happenings from the first half. The first one is a pretty good goal, the first of the game to David Calthorpe, who came from a quick handball from Hills and through it went from uh, just inside the 50. Now, this is how Tim Watson hurt himself. We do believe he rolled his ankle. You saw him uh, going to the ground, clutching his ankle in pain. And uh, as we did suspect, Tim hasn't appeared after half-time and uh, does look to be in a bit of uh, trouble. Has had his problems with injuries this year, as uh, we probably all know. Now, Simons has been a, uh, an exciting player with his dash all year, and it was a marvellous tap-back by Alessio there to set that up. Just one of those little things that uh, basically go unnoticed, but uh, good work from Alessio. And here's a goal to CCC. Have a look at the way he does this. Gets up onto his feet avoids a couple of lunging Fitzroy players and then goes on to kick what was quite an entertaining goal at the city end of the ground. So at halftime, we've got Essendon 9-6-60, probably in command of this game to, against Fitzroy 5-7-37. And one of the biggest problems they've got is the centre bounce dominance by Essendon 8-2 in that quarter. For that report, uh, the Bombers holding sway at the MCG and bad luck for Tim Watson. Let's hope that ankle injury isn't too serious. Well, time now to have a look at some of the contenders uh, for Mark of the Year in our segment, Marks of the Week. Time now to check the contenders for the Mitsubishi Motors Mark of the Year.